Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there. I'm DJ, and this is War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the news this week. I'll give you guys my take, my reaction, what I'm going to pull on, what I'm going to skip, and, uh, and I'm curious what you guys are going to do. So, first things first, there is a scheduled maintenance coming up uh, tomorrow, and they're actually going to be a quality of life, a nice little quality of life update in it. So it's going to have improvements to the guild attendance system. What this is going to do is basically, normally, you know, when you enter your guild every day, you have to click the attend button. And you know that there's like randomly, I know this happens in my guild and I'm sure it happens in almost every guild out there where you'll only have like 28 or 29 attends, but every single member in the guild did their guild battle. So it's like, who the heck's not clicking that simple button, but they're still doing their guild battle. So, you know, they're logging in. Um, well, that's not going to be an issue anymore because now as as long as you do a guild battle or as long as you enhance a statue or any of those things it will automatically click the attend button for you so no longer will you have to manually go into the guild menu and click the attend button every day because randomly people forget um it, it is just going to cut back on clicks so that's a really cool thing i like that a lot um ui improvements not sure what those are going to be tutorial being adjusted great for new players bug fixes and changing the icon so that's the that's what the maintenance is going to do now we're getting a new unit this week and a new vision card yorel she is a 90 cost earth unit she's a marshalist so she's a fist user her sub jobs are pugilist and knight um personally as strong as this character could be i'm gonna skip because she's not limited and she's not even 100 costs, so we don't need like rate ups to try and pull her in a reasonable amount of time. Um, I'm gonna skip this unit. I feel like I don't personally think I'll be using Earth in anything important anytime soon. I think it's gonna be a great unit, and I do look forward to pulling her down the line. I would really like to get her. Um, but I don't wanna go all out, and yeah, because we have so much coming up lately or soon, and we just got through so much stuff between Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, Chunok, Alaya, I don't know, I'm forgetting stuff, I know for sure, but we, we just went through a huge wave of good stuff. Oh, and Halloween, that's what I'm forgetting. So I need a little break here. Plus, plus, the fact that we're getting both the vision card and the unit this week, we could be getting Summer Elsorel. Not Summer Elsorel, what? what? Summer Helena, we could be getting Summer Helena next week, as early as next week. They did say we're going to get her before the end of the year, and let's be honest, this year is coming to a close, and they're not going to wait until winter units are out to give her a summer unit, you know? So we're going to be getting Summer Helena very soon, I think, um, with enough time in between to have probably a little gap between winter units coming out. So, um, but yeah, this unit... I Okay, now let me say, I say I'm going to skip. I'll probably still do a few pulls. When I skip, when I say skip, I mean that means I'm not going to go to commit to pity, and I'm not going to spend any resources like Vizior or anything extra like that on shards to build the unit. But I will do a few pulls. Um, so maybe I'll get lucky. I I will probably do like two pulls on a nine step plus a free pull. Um, just to get the prism ticket. And also maybe get lucky. And if they, you know, they probably won't. But if they have uh, like a 300 paid ticket, I usually would get those too. That's a very good deal. They haven't been doing those lately though. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are going to do. Are you going to just full on skip? Are you going to go all in? Have you been looking forward to the earth unit? I know earth units have been scarce other than Queen Mashari. So, um, you know, it's nice to see an earth unit finally. Now here is the card for gun, fist and staff users, such as black mage main job only. You're, you're going to get man eater upon physical attack, critical evasion and missile attack resistance up. You know, originally when we started getting these cards, I was on board and I was like, okay, these cards are going to open up a lot more opportunities in the game, you know, and it's going to allow us to not be restricted to elemental parties. I see one use for this card, really, and it's for bait teams. Like, I could see you putting it on Yorel, for example, and using her as a bait unit and then having like two ice units hidden. And like, for example, Gun, Alaya would benefit from that hugely. Barrett, there's so many units that or or you know even staff or fist units snow you could have snow and alaya hidden right behind ural so that's actually a legitimate strat and we might actually see that a lot coming forward but the thing is 
all the rest of the cards are not going to be benefiting the entire party in that situation. This is the only card that will benefit all three of them. And then the rest, you could have like maybe two two sets of ice cards on. You could even slap another ice card on the bait unit if you wanted to and just hope that she does the best. Um, but either way, I feel like these cards are way too restricting to make good use of them right now. In PvE, I don't see a huge use. And for PvE, the, really the main use I see, like I said, is just bait. There might be like a very few select teams you could build with this card specifically. But I do think it's very situational. So I'm going to skip the card. It's not a limited card though. So I'll probably pull it later on down the line anyways. And um, you know. I have so many Mog Metals and stuff like that. Or whatever. That I'll just build it then. Now. Uh, oh the card does have a global buff though. So for Ural. Frederica. I almost said Eureka. And Engelbert. Uh, they get Missile Attack Resistance and Man Eater up, which Missile Attack Resistance is great right now, right? There's a lot of Missile Units out there. Um, the big, They're both going to have Bingo Boards. Ural's going to be in the Chocobo Expedition. JP up, all the shebang, all right? So, all right, now we have JP Login Bonus Campaign. Going to get Ural Shards here, a couple of tickets to pull. You know, the Norm Enlistment Campaign. All right, so just for being in a guild... The more members in that guild, the more rewards you're going to get. So I would say try to be in a guild with 20 or more people. If you're in a chill guild, I know a lot of people out there are just in chill guilds because they just want to play very casually. They may not want to worry about guild battles or other things, but they want like their barrack slots. At least you'll get some rewards for these lesser amounts. But um, but yeah, this is just free stuff. There's going to be Vizior, Shardalies, and guild coins. I like it. Just free, free, free. Half energy consumption campaign for storyline. So this is going to be a great week to just farm mats at a storyline, catch up on story if you haven't done that yet. And uh, yeah, so it's just story quests, half energy consumption. Very interesting. That's going to be very cheap story running. Uh, arena, five times campaign. I think I missed something. Did I miss something in here? Oh, yeah, this is just the automatic guild attendance thing. Okay, I already covered that. Um, all right, what else? Equipment training. So there's going to be a fist weapon um, for the new unit. I'm sure I'll farm it even if I don't have the unit. A Ural starter quest, so we'll be able to see her in action. That's pretty cool. Um, arena map update. So the arena map is going to be missile attack resistance up, which the arena is just full of missile units right now. Between... Uh, yeah, it's just crazy, the amount of missile units and earth attack up. So maybe we'll see a lot of earth units uh, running around in here. And yeah, free match and friendly match. Free match is the same buffs. Friendly match doesn't have buffs, it looks like. All right, limited guild battle formation. So there is a limited guild battle this week. And it is going to be earth unit attack up. And the only elements that are allowed are ice earth water and light so i'm i think i think this limited guild battle is going to be completely full of ice and light but there might be a lot of earth and water too i don't really know we'll see i haven't like looked at what team i'm going to use myself but i know we've just seen ice everywhere lately and since ice is in this i can imagine that this uh guild battle is going to be full of ice as well so make sure you have your team set and all that good stuff. And I think that's about it. Oh, guild raid rankings. So these are the top scores for each of the guild raid. Congratulations to everybody who won these. Um, these are some really insane scores, honestly. And this is a really good job. Because I know it's I know this is like there's some steep competition for these. There's people grinding these nonstop all day, every day, trying to get these. So the people that won these, absolutely congratulations and Seriously good job. It's very impressive. Very, very impressive. Um, and then regarding account suspensions. I guess they suspended some accounts for some fraudulent activities or something. I'm not really sure. They don't get into details with who was suspended or anything like that. So I don't know uh, if it was like a case of one guild like that one time. Or if it's just overall grand scope of cheaters. I'm not sure. But anyways, I think that's about it. Barrett says, hi, Barrett says, bye. Um, I have been playing so much Final Fantasy VII Remake lately. I love that game. It's so much fun. And uh, it just 
brought me back to how damn cool as Barrett is in this game. Also, I have uh, been using Barrett in my raid team. I am right before I started recording this, I was like rank 90 or 86 or something in the raid in that range somewhere. So this is the first time I've ever been top 100 in a raid and I'm using Barrett. Like Barrett is so cool and I'm finally like I'm so glad to have an event where I'm just tearing it up with Barrett because the boss is weak to him. You know, it's weak to missile and ice and Barrett is missile and ice. So um, Barrett carry me to the top 100 baby anyways i'm gonna head out i'm rambling too much here uh, i'll be live with this game on uh wednesday morning so check it out hope to see you guys hanging out in my stream um let me know if you guys are gonna pull and or skip the new stuff the unit the vision card and yeah i am going to skip i'm doing air quotes here I, i'll probably do like two or three pulls between everything just because uh, i am gonna want to pick up like prism tickets if possible so yeah, um, but yeah, anyways, see you guys then. Have good luck if you're gonna pull, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So sayonara and farewell. Goodbye.